What's going on Facebook? Truth or Lie Thursdays, question number six. This question um, is related to something that we already talked about in the second question about church discipline, but it says, how do we celebrate the results without celebrating the sin? Good example, babies conceived during fornication. People want us to celebrate with baby showers, gifts. However, the conception was in sin. Many hurt girls are behind this. Many leave the church calling us judgmental. So as far as celebrating life, it's always good to celebrate life. Okay, you have to rejoice with those that rejoice, weep with those who weep. Um, it's very, uh, it's okay to show compassion. It's okay to show love to someone who is bringing a life into this world, whether it's in sin or not. Life is life. That baby does not deserve to, to be aborted or killed or suffer because she was conceived in sin. You know, uh, Jesus himself, the Messiah, was accused of being uh, conceived in sin. Um, so we can't really have a bad attitude, you know, towards the life or the, towards the mother who's carrying a life. Um, however, 1 Corinthians 5 does give clear instructions on how to deal with fornicators, people that are actively unrepentant in their sin. And the Bible says we can't, we shouldn't even eat with people that are, they claim to be in the congregation of God, brothers in the Lord, or sisters in the Lord, but they're living in unrepentant fornication. Um, so if they're not in the congregation, it's okay for them to leave. If they're not in, if they're not in repentance, it's okay for them to leave the congregation. Sometimes, like we said, we get this mentality where, oh, we got to keep everybody in, you know, um, Jesus is a shepherd, right? We're not supposed to try to keep wolves in the flock. We're not supposed to try to keep people that are that are living in unrepentant sin in the flock. Sometimes it's, they have to be purged out so that they can come back when they're ready to actually obey God and live, you know, the lifestyle of a believer. Um, so it's a balance there. You can't, you have to show human compassion, but it's okay for them to be pushed out of the congregation if they're an unrepentant sin um, but however showing mercy you know giving a gift you know making sure that they're they can, they can live they can eat that's not a problem you always want to show compassion and rejoice with those who rejoice and rejoice in that baby's life especially so hope that answers the question